Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back to Web Squadron. Now today we're going to tackle a question that came up yesterday and I was trying to help someone out and what I've told them is the solution is going to be this video. Basically they've got like an accordion and what I tell you is going to work with toggle and tabs as well. It's about where when you want to look at the content it's a little bit limited in what it is showing you and you want to show a lot more. This is not a video about what I released a couple of days ago, which is how you close the first tab of an accordion. This is about using templates. Okay, right, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's add in a accordion. Okay, and let's just put the style of that to be black text for the content. Okay, and without spending too long on this, look, let me just add in a few fake ones, okay? Tab one will always be open unless you add the code from the other video we did a couple of days ago. And when we click this tab, the other first tab closes and we have some more content. The problem is with a lot of this, if we just go to accordion one, okay, is there is a little bit of a limitation in what you can show. So I can add text, I can add bullets. It's basically just like a, you know, text editor, okay? You can add num um, bullets or numbers, basically. I can add images. So let's just add in uh, this image over here, insert that into post, okay? Um, and let's just, let's, let's, let's reduce the size of that image as well. So let's just drop it down to be a custom size and we'll just say it's about ooh, uh, 400 pixels in width. Uh, we'll click update. Okay, cool. And what I could do is add some more text afterwards, like, so, and we can do a bit of formatting and change the color scheme, okay? Right, okay, very, very simple. I'm not gonna spend too long on this, yeah? But what if your user, your client, or um, you on your own website decide, okay, that's great, but I now wanna have uh, Google Maps as well in there. And I also now wanna have a contact form on the right-hand side. And I also wanna have a button as well. And at this point, you're probably going, what, 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 what? I can't do all that. This is like all I can do. It's a basic text editor within there. Um, I'm not too hot on coding or HTML, and I don't wanna start messing around with ooh, all this stuff in here. But the client or yourself are very adamant that they want a certain type of structure. They may even start to say they want to have two columns and they want column one to be one color and another column to be a totally different color. And at this point, you're now starting to worry. It's like you're thinking, well, I can change the styling of the accordion, but I can't split the page in two or whatever. And then the client says, okay, but whatever you do in accordion two, I want a completely different one for the third one or the fourth one. It's, I understand why you could be panicking at this point, but it is dead, dead simple to do. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to hit update and we're gonna go to templates. So let's just go back into WordPress dashboard. We go to templates and you can go to add new or you can go to save templates and just see what you've got in there. Okay, we're gonna click add new. And this is where you can pick page or section. Just make sure you haven't picked header or footer or a pop-up but your page section doesn't really matter too much, but I'm just gonna pick section and give it a name. Okay, so now what we're going to do is call this one accordion two. Because if you've got a lot of accordions or a lot of tabs, don't just put generic names in there, put something that is specific to either the page or the type of accordion or what you're trying to present. Because when you end up having 20, 30 templates in there, it becomes a headache. So just bear that in mind and have a think about it. Okay, right. So we're gonna click, quick, quick, click, create template. You then get to see lots of examples of the sections that you could use. I prefer to just build from scratch, so we get a blank page. Now, I am going to add in a section with two columns. I am gonna say in the layout structure, set it to be two thirds and a third. I am going to very, very, I'm gonna do this really quickly, by the way, I'm just gonna stick in a header. Let's just make it a bit bigger. That's probably too big. And we'll go for a 600. Yeah, something like that. Let's add in a text editor underneath. Um, change the styling like so. And let's now add in a button as well at the bottom there. And we'll go back over to our widgets and we'll add in a form. 
Okay, again, please, you know, I'm really sorry that I'm not spending time going through, well, let's refine it and make it really, really funky. No, I'm just getting across to you how this works. And the last thing I'm gonna add in is Google Maps. Okay, so let's just add in a map there. And there we go, we've got the map there. Okay, it's not all perfectly aligned and everything, but I'm just getting across to you what we have. Now in column one, I'm going to set the background style for this. I'm going to give this a, um, let's go for that gray color there. And in this section over here, I'm going to go for a background color of, uh, let's just go for black, in fact, and we'll change this to be white for the lettering, or the labels. Yeah, okay, that'll do. And I'm going to hit publish. Because what I just want to get across to you here, let's just add a bit of um, padding as well. So we're not going to touch the margin, but we are going to do some padding. So I'll just say, let's just do about 20 all the way around it. Okay. Um, in fact, no, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Sorry, 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 sorry. I want to do it for this column. So let me just do it here. Let me just do about 20 there. And I'm just going to do the same here as well. Just do 20. There we go. Just got just a bit of padding and breathing space there. Okay. Again, this isn't poetry. I'm not doing a work of art here, I'm just showing you how it works. You can put into here, just like any other page, any other section, any of these widgets that you want to do. You can completely style it whatever you, way you want. Gallery, carousel, anything you want. You can even put a navigation menu in here if you want. I've hit update. I'm then going to go back into my templates. Okay, go to templates, save templates. Accordion 2, because that's what we called it very cleverly, okay? Now over here, we have the short code. What I need you to now do is stare at that for about 13 minutes and remember every character, every placement on there carefully, or you can just copy it. And I would probably say it's better to just copy it, yeah. Once you've copied it, go back to your page. So let's just go to the testing accordion. Now accordion one, we're gonna leave as it is. Okay, I'm just gonna close it. And I'm gonna go down to accordion two. I'm going to delete whatever was in there. Okay, I don't need anything else in there at the moment. I can have, by the way, some text and then paste and do what I'm gonna do next afterwards, but I prefer to have designed it all in the template. We then paste it, okay? That is it. And then we hit update. And you're gonna be look at this and go, well, it obviously didn't work, dude, because all I see is the shortcode. Well, yeah, that's how it works until you viewed a live page or a preview. Let's then go to preview. Accordion 1. Unless you put in the code I told you before in one of the previous videos, Accordion 1 is always going to open. So bear that in mind if you want that to happen or not. But if I just close that or if I just jump down to Accordion 2, what is this? Well, it's what we wanted it to be. We have now designed two columns. We could have had three, we could have had four, we could have had section upon section upon section within a section. We could have designed it however we want. It could be as long, as small, wide, whatever we want in there. We have header, text, button, map, form. And it's done it by just bringing in a template. So when we get to accordion three, well, that, that should say accordion three, by the way. I could have a completely different looking section, or I could duplicate the template in save templates, duplicate it, and then just modify the content. So I've got a theme, or a, um, not a theme, but you know, um, a particular wireframe for how it's gonna look. So this is a really, really, really simple way of how you can customize what sits within the tabs of an accordion, a toggle, even the tabs functionality. So this is a fantastic way of just making it be a bit more bespoke. I mean, you know, we've built a website with courses on. This is how we're actually presenting our courses. We've used accordions within the tabs. The tab title is what is the subject matter. Within the tab, we then have a video or we have some writing, or we have an embedded PDF so you can read it on the screen, or some further content like download links for some templates and stuff. The world is our oyster for what we want to do. So I hope that made sense. I hope you now realize that 
you can basically own the content of the accordion or the toggles. I hope that's good for you. Give us a like and a subscribe and we'll see you soon. Take care.